people are looking for something else, I suppose. Yeah, indecent and terrible. <laughs> and it's the words that make it either Christian or not. It's not a message of love and peace and hope. It's a message of, uh, of despair, almost. Yeah, intrinsically, it's only the people themselves that can produce the evil. I mean, the music itself doesn't do that. If there are lyrics to it and you can't understand or hear the lyrics, then there's no point in playing the music. So that's only playing on youngsters, um, what should I say, their negative point. I mean, uh, that doesn't help to bring people all together um, in, in love, perhaps, and friendship. Gullible people will follow it. Like, gullible people will follow any, anything that's advertised or put forward in front of them, don't they, by a commercial organisation. There are certain people at certain times in their life that could be susceptible. with a sexuality that is in total contradiction to a Christian lifestyle. And you sort of get stuck like an ageing rocker, <laughs> But you never ever move on and, and think that perhaps there's another way of doing things. Christians have an enemy, the Bible calls him the, the devil, and the truth of the facts are, he is as much alive in the world today uh, as anything. <laughs> It was the winter of 1990. I'd heard about a dangerous new subculture known as black metal, and I'd driven down to the furthest reaches of Pembrokeshire in West Wales to spend a week with the band Legalised Murder. I wanted to find out what the protagonists of this subculture had to say, and if civilization as we know it was really under threat. My first port of call was Vic Norseman, the younger of the two Norseman brothers who made up the duo. Hi there. Hi. Uh I'm looking for a Black Valley farm or Black Lodge. Oh, you don't want to go down there. Why it's is that? full of dark forces these days. Really? I'm making a documentary on the owner down there. Oh, it's all weirdos there. You don't want to go down there. I mean, I just need directions down there, that's all. Oh, no. When David was there, it was, it's fine. It was a good farm. Plenty of it's all ragwort these days. Really? Oh. I mean, I wonder if you could help me, I mean... No, I'm, uh, forget it. Documentaries. I'm completely lost. Oh, oh, hi there. Hi, I wonder if you could help me. I'm looking for a uh, Black Valley Get farm. Get the camera away from me, boy. Legalized Murder had recorded their debut album, Load the Lightning, and they were currently recording their second album. I was somewhat nervous about meeting them at this juncture, as I'd heard that this had been a difficult time for the band. However, after driving for some time down some very long and windy roads, I arrived at Vic's. I didn't know what to expect. Hi there. Yeah, I had a bit of trouble finding the place. Yeah, no, I like to stay hidden. Yeah, I mean, uh, I asked a few locals for directions and they seemed to... Uh, they didn't tell you fuck all. They wore me off a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well... You have a bit of a reputation around these Oh uh, Yeah, right? they don't like me and I don't like them. Any chance of being uh, shown round? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you around here and then we'll go inside the house and then you can do one of those interviews. Oh, um, you can't sleep. You can't sleep in the house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'll so show you where you're sleeping later. All oh, right. Okay. You have. We've got a bed, though. Yeah. Yeah. You got a bed. Right. Okay. Yeah. You got more than one bed. I've made. I've made loads of money. I can buy anything I want. I can have any Mega Drive game I want. You know. Yeah. Straight away, Mega Drive game comes out brand new. If I see it on the telly, or I read about it in uh, Games Master magazine, I just buy it. I don't even have to think about it. I've just got that much money. Yeah. This is all leather. Do you know how much these gloves cost? How much? 60 quid. 
Wow, that's, that's a lot of money for a pair of gloves. Yeah, that's 30 quid a glove. Yeah. And this jacket, that's proper leather, that. Wow. I mean, a lot of people have leather jackets these days. Yeah, I know. But a lot of people ain't me, so... Yeah. Did you uh, inherit this place then, or...? No, no, I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. Oh, the potato farmer, that's right. That's yeah. right, yeah. Potato farmer. So this is one of the uh, spare, bedrooms. spare bedrooms. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the toilet. Uh huh. B day. Yeah. Oh, very posh. It's not posh. It's just I think it's clean. Oh, for fuck's sake! I like this. I like all the flies hanging there, bunched, and it's kind of it sets the tone nicely. I think I might convert this into a. Uh, into another guest room. Do you find that you get a lot of uh, opposition to your music? I mean, do you, do you find you come up against a lot of uh, religious zealots and that oh, kind of yeah, thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of fucking stupid people. Yeah? Yeah. You know, what's your, what's, you know, what kind of things do they say to you? Nothing really. Um, they shout things. Normally when we're playing you'll get uh, Christian extremists or Born Agains protesting. We had a lot of that in America. Yeah. We had a lot of that. Yeah. Lots of it. Yeah. I, uh, I got egged. You got egged. Yeah. I just, you know, I ate the egg out of you my hair it? in front of them. Yeah. Just as, as a kind of, you know. A kind of I, a bit of a. I, got, um, I was sick though from because there was hair. My hair was in stuck in with the hair with the um, sorry. The hair was stuck in with the egg. I collect loads of things. Um, one of the things I used to collect uh, was little cups. Look, this is uh, this is Caprice here. Look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at the cross. Look at the craftsmanship on that. Look at that. Absolutely Someone's put a lot beautiful. of time they and effort into absolutely. that. Absolutely. And yeah. this gold trim. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you get that in the light? I just love things like this. You know, I go. I go to car boot sales and uh, go to a lot of uh, steam fairs. Bit of an antiques collector then? I wouldn't say that, I just like little cups. This is uh, Dalton. Royal Dalton? Royal Dalton. Wow. Look at that. And I, the reason I kept this one is because I love this kind of... I think it, they, they, they look like um, almost like snowflakes on a, on, a, on a kind of bit of rusty rope. Yeah. And I really like things like that, that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I fucking hate scenes, you know, I hate, I hate fashions and I hate trends. Uh-huh. You know, black metal is, it's, it's against all that. You know, we wear, we wear the black, or we, the we, makeup. we wear the makeup because we don't want to conform. Yeah, I mean, you even have that on in the house. I do, yeah. I do. Not, not everybody does. Not, every, not everyone in the scene does. Look at that, the kids are pro. Oh, you're fucking joking. Oh, I'm not going to make it now. I'm not even going to make it in the time. Like. What were you saying? Do I play games? I don't play games. No, I mean... I don't play games. This is... You like it. to I... play video games and... I'm not saying playing games in a... It's you that play... You've come... You're, it's you're, you're the one that seems to be, the you know, playing games. You know, there's nothing French about this house. I thought we were getting on well, you we know? We are. We are getting on well. I was just, you know... I told you I can... I told I... you I could clear it in, in... Under the time, in half the time. I can clear it. Like that. And like... I was on, I was on, I was on form, and then you, you were, you coming in with questions. Like, I'll answer your questions. I'll answer questions. I'm, I've been answering your questions, yeah. Yeah. I answer your questions, right? Yeah. So we're happy with that. And when I, when I'm doing something like that, you know, that takes concentration. You know, you know about that. You know about concentration, of yeah. Course, yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. You know about concentration. So. I was just observing that you uh, spend a lot of time playing, playing games. Such as video games, uh, computer oh, games, yeah. um, this board game. Uh, you know, is that a is that a sign of um, an oppressed kind of 
adolescence or or a prolonged adolescence? Adolescence. Yeah. Like these kind of games are normally something you associate with uh, fourteen, fifteen-year-old boys. Um, I'm twenty-two. I know, I know. I was saying it, the these these pursuits are a, a typical of teenage boys rather than um, adults. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. It's just uh, it seems rather a strange pursuit for a for a, someone of your age. Things were going okay, but Vic wasn't as forthcoming as I'd hoped. I was starting to wonder if I'd get a chance to ask the questions I wanted answering, but he seemed more interested in showing me his guitars. Wow, so were all these your, your guitars? Yeah. And they've all got wow. like very sentimental value for me. This, for instance, was given to me by uh, a small uh, Chinese lad that... Um, I put a, it's quite a weird story really, I put a window through with a football. Yeah. Uh, I was hanging around outside his house, kind of spying on, uh, spying on things and uh, yeah, he just, uh, he recognised me from a poster and um, gave it to me. So you didn't feel bad taking that guitar off a young lad? I mean, you could probably afford to buy one like that. Yeah, but um, I signed a gherkin for him, and I think uh, generally that's... He could sell that, you know. I mean, that's going to go up in value, isn't it, that gherkin? Probably just rot. This is a little Walter PPK I made. Wow, little wooden replica. Do you like guns? Um, I'm not much of a gun man, I must say. I'm, I, I don't have, uh, you know, any guns or... an interest in guns, really. I'll show you something you'll like then, come on. So what I do... Got some old shells and that. Yeah. Shotgun. And take this out. Well, um, up here. So. Binoculars. Any fucker. You know, anyone. Try and come up here. There's nobody really around here, though, is there? You know, what have you got to. Uh, yeah. Do you like? No, you like this. What you'll have you got to defend yourself? You'll love everyone. Everyone's got to defend themselves. Do you like but that? Why? You'll, you'll love this. You'll love this. When are you ever threatened? Whoa, whoa! Is that a is that a real pistol? Yeah, we got this. Uh, we toured the south, and uh, I'll pick this up. Right. So you just cock that. Yeah. You just cock that. Is it is it loaded? Yeah. That's Do you like, mind putting it down and not? Oh, don't worry. The safety. No, the safety's on. Don't worry. I'm not quite sure how I feel about all this. You know, well, it's, def it's not defense, really a isn't violent it? man. It's, it's. I'm not a violent. Uh, I can be. Why does a violent man need? A non-violent man need weapons. I don't know because. No, I thought you'd like that. I like chips. Where are my chips? Those are my chips. Yeah, I do like chips. All right, well, this is uh, this is where I shop. You wanted to see where I shop. Well, this is where I shop. Oh, right. This you is know. the local store, eh? Yeah, there isn't much about here, so... Oh, good. This is where I shop. So, do you uh, fraternise much with the local community? A little bit. Hello. Hello there. How are you doing? Hello there. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I used to eat a lot of white loaf, but um, I read an article about it. So now I eat wholemeal or brown. Yeah, it's much better for you, isn't it? It is much better. Even the healthy lifestyle. And this is um, this is made here. I mean, feel that. Leisure tomato ketchup. 
I want to find this fucking mystery sachet that you didn't give me. I didn't get two. I swear to you. Oh. No, but if you gave it to me, why would I think at the I time, know, just, where's the fucking sure sauce? I remember you were holding out sachets. I took the mayonnaise, which is what I did take. Definitely. I'm not mistaken, because I, I thought at the time. If it's in the car, it fell out of your hand, not mine. Oh, sure, I thought okay. it. Why would I think it if you gave me two fucking sachets and one of them was tomato ketchup? So oh, you're mistaken, ain't you? I don't mind. I don't have tomato ketchup with my chips. I have mayonnaise. So where are we going? Where you're sleeping. Oh, is it that caravan there? Yeah. Oh, right. That's where you're sleeping tonight. Is there uh, any electricity or running water or anything like that? There's no water in there. Um, or electric. Just, I... Open sesame. Yeah, there we go. There's a couple of flies in that. Yeah. There's quite a lot of flies actually. And this is where I'm sleeping, yeah? Mm hmm. Well, actually, I mean, you can choose, mate. Oh, we've got a choice of choice of three beds. Yeah. I mean, my ex, my ex was the last person to live in here. She was a German, you know. She had uh, mutated blood cells, you know. Oh right. She had, uh, you know, sickle cell anemia or something like that, was it? Yeah. No, it wasn't like that. Used to get all crazy, you know. If she didn't eat, she'd be going like this. She didn't eat, and I got Diabetic sick of it. Or? I got sick of it, so I got sick of it. So I, uh... fuck, <laughs> fucking hell! It's a okay. own it's fucking a... bed, mate. Fucking you know, hell! You know I'm trying to accommodate you as much as I can in that, but like, fucking hell! Oh, fucking hell! I've okay got to take now? a walk. I'll see you in a bit. Vic and I hadn't gotten off to the best start. I didn't know whether I'd offended him or if he just wasn't used to having people around. Either way, I wasn't looking forward to spending the night in that caravan and the thought of spending a week with this guy seemed unbearable. But then... Hi! Hi! Hi. Um, okay, I, I've... I feel better now, but I'm not going to uh, apologise for anything, okay? Before you, you know, I made before the you ask. No, okay, okay, that's fine. Um, it's just the energies feel a bit, with, you know, just... Uh, I suppose you're more used to a sort of loneliness and... in a desolate kind of area. Well, you choose that, don't you? Uh-huh. I'm sorry, I mean, I don't mean to intrude, um, you know, if there's a problem. You know, I sensed a bit of a... Uh, a bit of negative energy, um, I hope, uh... There's another fly, look. Let's crawl in with a minute. Anyway. Yeah, it is pretty full of flies. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you know, as One I was saying... One of these is the toilet. For fuck's sake. It's okay, you know, I'll, I'll uh, I'll sort it. Or whatever. Anyway, do you want to do? Do you want to do one of these interviews or something? Yeah. Okay. Well, in That's the why house? you came here, isn't it? I mean, what is it? Is this something are you trying to just? Uh, is it, are you just trying to make the band look fucking stupid or something? No, no, no. I just, you know, I just wanted to uh, interview you, really. You no. Know? That's all. Just. I mean, you did agree to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm a man of my word, unlike, you know, some people. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, let's, let's go and do an, do an interview, shall we? Well, ladies first. Yeah. Hey, that's 500,000, that, right? 500,000, that one. In yeah. Norway. That's, that's pretty gold. impressive. That's gold, mate. Hey, so watch out. Watch out, yeah?
nightfall arrived, and despite asking several times to stay in the house, Vic had exiled me to the freezing damp caravan because of the energies. I felt it was quite unnecessary, but rather than complain, I thought I'd just grip my teeth and try and get some sleep. I did have some candles after all, and Vic said I might get some warmth from them. Oh God. Well, it's four o'clock in the morning, Sunday night, my first night here. It's absolutely freezing, I can't get to sleep. Vic was kind enough to uh, give me these candles to brighten up the place a bit, but to be honest, I'm just, just a bit worried I might singe my hair. Things haven't gone as... Uh, as I thought out, but um, I'm hoping there'll be some improvement tomorrow. Um, Vic seemed a little uh, offhand with me. Um, I don't know why he stuck me in this bloody caravan. It's crawling with flies, and the cushions are damp. I've got this one bloody blanket just to go around me. You know? I might take a drive down to uh, to Jack's house, see if I can perhaps stay there a couple of nights. Cause I I really can't put up with this. I really can't. Oh god! Just been to the toilet. Oh. There's a dead rat in the toilet. I wish I'd never come here. I suppose you know, one saving grace is Vic's finally agreed to let me use the shower in the morning, so, uh. Just looking forward to that, really. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Get up! Get up! Whoa. The energy's Whoa. all wrong. Get up! The energy's Whoa. all wrong. Look, you can't stay here. You can't stay here. I had a vision, What's right? The, problem? the energies are all wrong. Come on, What's the get problem? Off. Go on! Oh, get up. up! Get off me! Get up! Look, you're gonna stay with Jack because you can't stay here. Why? Because the energies are all wrong. I told you I don't want to have to explain myself. Just. And you can't sh you can't shower in the house. You fucking maniac! I can't be any more crystal clear with you. If you choose not to understand, that's okay. Look, you can sleep somewhere tonight. You can go and stay at my brother's. But I don't at even the know moment, where your you can't is. stay. Well, I'll give you directions, won't I? It's not that big. What's the big thing? Why are you making it into such a big thing? You know. But I don't know what the problem is. I mean, if I've offended I told, you in you some way... You haven't way. offended me, I've told you. The energy is wrong. You can come back here when the energy is right. You know, I, I've come a long way for this interview, you know. It's not... Yeah, it's I, not well, fair I'm not... I'm not to, uh, I, this, this, is really, this is out of my hands. What do this you mean it's out of your hands? This is your place. This I know is your this place. is my place. I know this is my place. But what I'm saying is, with the energies being what they are at the moment... You cannot stay here. Okay, well... You know, I'll go... It's, I'll nothing, go it's nothing personal. You're alright. You're... What? You know, you're alright. What? I've, uh, just arrived at Jack's house. I think I've got the right place. I hope so. Let's see if he's in. Hi. Hi there, Dominic Dalrymple. We spoke on the yes, phone last week. Of course. Nice to meet you. Yes. 
Could you take your shoes off, please? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. And, and, and you, please. What's that? Your shoes. Can you take them off, please? Is it still fine to stay? Yes, yes. Uh, oh. Up the stairs. Straight on. I'll just get the door. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow. Wow, nice place. Thank you. Hey, a drum kit. Yeah. I uh, thought you played bass. I, I, no, I do, I do play bass. This isn't, um, this is just a lucky charm. Okay, so, well, you, you, you don't play it at all then? No, no, no one, uh, no one plays it, it's never played. It's, it's as I say, it's a lucky charm, and, and as so, it, it doesn't, um, it shouldn't be played or messed around with in, in, in any way. Can I have a go? Well, I, mean, I thought I'd made it pretty clear, really, Dom, it's just a lucky charm. Hey, come on, it's a drum kit! So you've got some more posters up. Yeah, this is, um, you know, the, um, the tour that really, you know, was uh, was good for us, was big for us. We really, everything seemed to come together on that tour. That was great, that one. This is good, though. This, uh, I like this, this one. It reminds me of, uh, you know, the difference between the two. Because this is an old one, you see. see this so is, this, this is, is where you've come from yeah. and where you went to. Exactly. The local music scene. Uh, uh, we were a bit resented, I think, maybe, because we were the headliners. Yeah. And some of these guys have been around, like, not quite made them, they've been around for a long time. Yeah. And um, I think maybe they felt a bit... What's the word? Upstaged. Um, by you, or...? Upset. Upset. You sort of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, upstaged. Yeah. Yeah. And I see they had to cancel the bingo there as well. You'll be up here whilst you're yeah. staying with me. So you're having some work done by the looks of it. Yeah, it's um, well, it's ongoing. Yeah, it's a big job. Seems like quite an old building. It is, yeah. They, I mean, there's already been a lot done to, to sort it out, you know? Yeah. All right, so this... This will be yours whilst you're here. Had a few groupies in here then? No. Contrary to my expectations, Jack couldn't have been more accommodating and really made an effort to make me feel at home. However, I couldn't help feeling that there was a contradiction between the image they projected with their work and their real lives. I decided to quiz Jack on this whilst he prepared a lunch of alpha bites and beans, something I hadn't eaten for some time. The music is about attack. And so then the name should be about attack also. Yeah. Um, it's a statement, you know, it's a statement that once you put it out there, you know, um, people have to deal with it. Yeah. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a powerful statement. Yeah, you well, know? it is a powerful statement, yeah. yeah. But, you know, with that power, you know, there's a danger, isn't there? You know, what about young, impressionable teenagers who say, you know, legalise murder. They think murder's cool. I think murder's cool too. I'm going to go and rape my aunt and fuck my brother and rip his arms off. You know, what about... What about them? That's not going to happen though, is it? Okay, well, I'd, I'd get up about five every morning and uh, check out my CFAX and, uh, and watch the sunrise. It's my uh, CFAX and uh, sunrise time. And, um, and then I do my rituals. Uh, it's important for me to have a sense of routine and discipline uh, in life. And this is illustrated by the fact that I never uh, allow myself to play my um, Mega Drive or Game Gear uh, until I've finished my homage to the, uh, to the Beast. I have a, uh, a place of deep meditation um, in the cellar, or, or dungeon if you will. It's, it's, a, it's a place I'd go to when I feel the stresses of the modern world we live in, or um, I have a problem with a riff. Yeah. So, um, it's somewhere I, um, I feel closest to the beast. So, Jack, would you say your life is uh, completely consumed by the, the black metal scene, or do you have any interests outside of it, any pursuits outside of that uh, subculture? 
Um, well, of course, of course. Um, I think um, it's important for anyone involved in this kind of um, subculture to have an interest outside of it. Um, yeah. You know, otherwise it, it, it consumes you and um, it distorts your sense of self. Yeah. I, um, I personally, I like colouring in. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got lots of colouring in books, lots of crayons. Um, yeah. And pens. I um, you, you get them from like uh, news agents. Um, yeah. A good place to get them is uh, in like the hospital, um, in hospital shops, you know, where where people buy like flowers, uh, and, and other things. For, for relatives and. Um, for patients, yeah. For patients, yeah. yeah. There's the cat there. Parachuting, I see. Yeah, and uh, and the mouse. Ah, uh, with a bit of bit of Swiss cheese. Mm, dolphin there. Uh huh. And. Um, I like this one here, the, the uh, giraffe. Yeah, I noticed you've uh, coloured the, the sky black in every picture. Mm. You know, why is that? Once you've given your life over to the beast, yeah, you know, he, he, he influences your every deed, your every action. You know, from, from writing a fucking rock and roll song, yeah. to, to colouring in the sky black, to, to, colouring, to colouring in the, this... I don't really know what what that is. Well, what did you think of that? Wow, that's uh, that's pretty loud stuff. I mean, I couldn't make out the lyrics, but uh, it sounded pretty nasty. Yeah, well, we don't make music for people to be happy, you know. We uh, yeah. I wanted people to hear that and, and puke. That's that's kind of the part I don't get, you know. You know, what's with all the nastiness? What's what's wrong with being happy? Well, you know, I mean, these people walk around with smiles on their faces, you know. Then. They're not living in the real world. They're, they're leaving themselves open, you know. They're vulnerable. But, but vulnerable to what? The, the truth is, Don, we're all going to serve in Hades at the beast's left-hand side. And the sooner people realise that, the better. Um, so, you know, really you're saying, come on, guys, wake up and smell the coffee. Uh, yeah. My stay in Pembrokeshire was becoming increasingly surreal. Both Jack and Vic had completely confounded my expectations. And far from sacrificing me, they invited me to tea with their mum. I didn't know what to expect. Hey, I'm Hi, boys. Hi. All right, love. Bloody land, then you're letting the heat out. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm done, by the way. Hi, I come in, nice to meet you, love. So it's, uh, it's great to meet you. I mean, I've heard a lot about you. All good, I hope. Yes, well, the boys speak very highly of you. Well, I love they're all ma'am, don't you, lads? Yes. So I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about what they were like when they were little. Well. Vic was a bit of a big-headed twat, and Jack was a bit of a weirdo, really. So now it's changed, does it? They're uh, different from a lot of young men their age. I mean, the way they dress, the makeup, the leather, the music and the culture. Well, it's just a phase, really. I remember when Jack was 14, he went round in his Spider-Man suit for three months. Please lay down and come in and have some chips, love. Yeah, boys. Oh, Excuse fingers. I'll just pile it on, man. Yeah. Just pile it on. There you go. There well, you go, I'm love. Really cheers, man. Thank you. Go on, give it some welly. Go on, sit down. Come on, sit down. <laughs>
it start the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And right. then it went. Yeah, it slowed down a lot, didn't it? And, yeah, um, and then there was something was a bit about. Because like that, 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 that was the one we wanted to put the church bells and the chorus. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Yeah. The thing is, though, I, I don't know, the whole fairy area. Yeah. I suppose so. I did see one though. Yeah. I told you. Oh yeah. It was out there. Had little little shoes on. So Vic. Yeah. Okay, I've got these couple of lines here. Okay, mm. go on. So the night was black as the beast's eyes. Yeah. Uh, she ran, but she could not hide. Yeah. <coughs> you, you have that going, and you've got. There is a place uh, of frozen spirits, mm. you know, where little people dance all skew if. Yeah. I drink the blood of the beast. Mm. I uh, drink the blood of Dracula, or like you say, Dracula beast, question mark, you know? Yeah. Dracula beast! You know, kind of. You're bored of that game? Yeah. Weren't you playing that then, uh, Jack? No, uh, I don't mind. It's just. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, Blasphemer called earlier. He's yeah. coming around to see you. Cool. So. Yeah. We have beer, so mm. we can drink some beer and catch up with him. Who's Blaspheme? <laughs> I shit myself on stage. I fucking shit myself, I did. I am Blaspheme, solo artist. I was in a band with Jack and that. Jesus, not bring. I fucking love legalized murder. I fucking love them. Fucking legalized murder. <laughs> Blaspheme was unlike anyone I'd ever encountered before. I found him unapproachable and impossible to interview. Later that evening, after he had performed some nonsensical ritual, we went out for a drink where events took on a yet more surreal form. Fucking get out of here! Yeah! Get out of here! Fucking whack this on your fucking head! Yeah! Fucking poof in the mouth! Fuck it! Yeah, goddamn, I fucking shit myself! Yeah! Yeah! I'm shit myself right now! Oh, yeah! Oh, busy on pain! Oh, yeah! Goddamn! I can feel the beast! I can feel the beast within me! I can feel the beast within me! I can feel the beast within me! I can feel it! I can feel the beast within me! Yeah, well, we first signed Legalised Murder to Candle Dribbler Records in the spring of 88. I mean, they did super on their demo single, and they were really doing something we felt that we could sell at that time. I mean, they were great with the test audiences we'd set up. 
That's the key, you see, is knowing your audience. I mean, we do it with everything. We test everything on audiences to gauge reaction before releasing. We do it with all our acts, and they tour and sell very well in Sweden, Norway, Finland. I think it's something to do with suicide rates. But at the end of the day, I think it's totally fab for publicity. I did tour with them for the Low the Lightning tour across Scandinavia, I mean, in which I did see them play almost every night. Very powerful performances. I mean, we sold a lot of t-shirts. So, are you fond of uh, legalised murder's music? Oh yeah, they're fab. I mean, you know, it's not something I'd listen to all the time, but I really admire what they do. I can understand the sales they generate for Candle Dribbler Records, but... No, no, I totally admire them, you know. I see it like good opera, attacking and powerful. But yeah, like I say, it's not something I'd listen to all the time. So, whose music would you listen to uh, regularly? Oh, well, at the moment I'm listening to a lot of Peter Gabriel, um, Richard Clayderman, oh, and a lot of fine young cannibals. After spending the night at the local inn, I made my way to Dreamworld Studios to meet the boys. The studio itself was situated in the heart of the Preseli Mountains near Lisa Fran Dam, which can only be described as a big man-made pond. After my first good night's sleep in a few days, I had risen early and was ready at the studio to see the Norseman brothers arrive. Oh. Hi. Uh, who's producing the album? Bert Weinbecker. Hey, it's the cameraman. He's coming to film us, mate. Hey, guys! You right, Dom? Yeah, How yeah. How you doing? Bert Weinbecker. Yeah. yeah. Curly haired lad. Curly haired bloke with a tash. Yeah. Fozzy is the other engineer. Yeah. Yeah, he gets things done. He knows what he knows what sound we want. And, uh, he's, he's been around for a bit, hasn't he? He's, yeah. uh, he's quite experienced. He's not, he knows what he's doing. What's uh, he like as a as a character? He's pretty sedate. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't say very much, you know. He just. Can I get one more cymbal hit, please? Got to get the levels right. Did you notice, did you notice I also play the drums? Yeah, you don't have a session musician for these... Uh, no, uh, no, sessions. I mean, yeah, live, of course, we get a uh, fire hammer in, or uh, we had um, Little Peep. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. as you can see, Jack is a very accomplished pianist. Uh, I'm a very accomplished drummer. So we yeah. uh, basically we're jacks of all trades. No, <laughs> Jack. Jack, a bit more dark on the bass, mate. A bit more evil. More evil, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I can do that, yeah, no worries. Jack, mate. Oh, Dom's coming as Dom's coming as well. So many doors. I know. Well, it's all keep sound out and yeah, yeah. The like. Big guy. Hmm. Come and have a listen to this. I'm not. I don't know. You tell me what you think. Right. Yeah. yeah. So is it my track? Fuzzy, go on. How do you think you sound? Is that alright for you? A bit snappier, do you want to It's alright. Studio. 
if I can interrupt you. Mm. What are you uh, What are you working on here? Uh, we've got a problem with the uh, sort of like the bridge part of the um, uh, track. I think it's going to be on the album. It's called um, Dark Nordic uh, Devil Fiend. And um, yeah, well, basically, there's a problem with the bridge, and I'm just trying to just trying to work something out for it, really. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it sounds pretty. Uh, <laughs> Is it going to sound as piano, or is it going to go through any effects before you put it on the tune? Uh, it'll probably um, go through some effects. It's just I like to work it out. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. Before we um, we then sure. go on to the tune. Basically, I'll work, I'll work something out for it, and then Vic and I will listen to it, and you know, he might have some suggestions. And we'll it's nice to have a bit of a change from the uh, the heavy guitars, the constant heavy guitars, and. Uh, from a listener's point of view, you know, you might find it a, you know, a bit of a nice uh, break. Well, not me personally. Maybe, no? you, maybe you. Yeah. Um, I just find it easier to to um, to use the piano to um, uh, articulate the, the 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 chord changes and structures. I know, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> Well, whilst Jack and Vic were playing, I took the opportunity to have a chat with the guys behind the Some music, Bert Weinbecker and Fozzy. Well, I mean, it, I work part as a team. I mean, if it wasn't for me and Fozzy, have done a few albums together, we worked together for a long time, and uh, two are better than one. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, uh, <laughs> have you worked with Legalized Murder before? Yeah, I've done some, uh, I did a, about four tracks on Load the Lightning, and I did uh, most of their EPs beforehand, the blood EPs. It sounds like a big fucking shack. Most people's job, they start at nine, they start at eight, and uh, work through till five. Go home, relax. I mean, this is rela this is relaxations. I mean, we'll spend all day here, nine to five at the mixing desk, and then pass then. So even after you've gone it, even after you've gone, we'll still be in here tonight. So it's, it's we'll more be... than a job for you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, tonight we'll be we'll still be in here, playing with our knobs, long into the night, twiddling, seeing what sliding works, up and down. sliding up and down. I mean, pushing buttons, tweaking knobs. I mean, generally we uh, we just enjoy it, you know. And uh, when uh, when there's no bands here, we normally uh, we normally have a few beers about the place. I don't like doing it when the bands are in because then they'll start wanting to drink in here. You'll get beer in the equipment, you yeah. know. Uh, someone had a pipe of Pringles, clog some instruments. So it's generally not we people. Not many people respect it like we do. I had enjoyed chatting with Bert and Fozzy and found them much more approachable than a lot of the people I had met involved in the black metal circle. Although they seemed somewhat out of step with the culture and trend. It was obvious that their dedication to their craft was unquestionable. I've got um, a bit of a skin condition on the on the inside of the skin on the inside of my nose. My nasal hair grows uh, three times as fast as uh, well yours or or Jack's, um, and wow. it, I shave. Like, when you shave, it gets very. There's a lot of irritation in there, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, when I when I was younger, I I didn't care at all. I remember when uh, I was about fourteen, and it first sprouted. I uh, I actually had it in plaits. Yeah. Mm. You don't have any uh, hair trouble like that, Jack. No, no, it's all um, pretty normal. But you do have that perfect circle of hair on your back. The globe. Mum calls mm. it the globe. Wow. It's about that big. Mm. And what's weird is it's ginger. Really? Mm. A ginger globe of hair on your back? Yeah. I'm not sure if I believe that. It's true, show him. No, not now, no. Go on. Get your globe out. <laughs> A bit embarrassed, Jack. I'm just, no, you know, there's no need to show you my back. No. This is sheep. Wow. Yeah, these are, this is sheep. Yeah. This is sheep. They're pretty woolen, aren't they? Yeah, they love them. I love them. Beautiful, mate. Yeah. Sheep. 
I think it would be good. Uh, I think it would be good to have horns, you know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. To be able to grow horns like. Yeah. Like the sheep. We did a we did a video actually with the, these these particular sheep. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We um we do all our own videos. You do all your own videos. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. We film all everything, everything that you know. Yeah, we star in them and direct them. And yeah, everything. Write them. Wow, that's great. Gig, Tom. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to. Yeah, when is that? Is that next week? Yeah, it's next Thursday. Yeah, next have Thursday. You, have you have um, you have you gone to see Tara yet? Yeah, I've seen Tara. Yeah. yeah. Did she give you any uh, directions to the? It's Letterston. It is. Letterston. Yeah. Mm. It's, I mean, it's quite yeah, out. It's quite. Directions. It's yeah. quite remote where we're playing, but um, there's been a lot of. Uh, well, a lot of radio coverage and uh, the right magazines and yeah. have been informed. So hopefully it'll I mean, be a real good turnout. I left Vic and Jack to record, and like a couple of swollen cunt lips, they suggested I go and spend some time with animatronics expert Little Ernie, the man behind the magic of legalised murders, stage magic. Hi, my name's Ernie. Welcome to my workshop. I've got a damn infestation, look! Damn birds! Look at them! This is where the nest is! Uh, I've been interested in animatronics since uh, a very early age. I remember I saw Godzilla vs Mothra when I was really young. I think it's my earliest childhood memory. And I really loved the way the, uh, the creatures moved. Uh, it inspired me. I'd say it, it took my breath away to be honest. I knew from that moment that animatronics was the way forward. And here I am today with my own workshop and I've made it as the best animatronist in the world. Spider on a string and it, it'll capture the lifelike movement of the spider once it's finished. When I take on a, a project for Legalised Murder, whether it be a, a music video or a, a live concert, uh, the darker forces of animatronics come into play. Um, I see myself as something of an alchemist. Uh, I do a lot of work with children, such as puppet shows and whatnot, so uh, it's, it's a nice way of escaping from that and exploring the uh, the darker side of the human psyche through the medium of puppets and animatronics. Vic's always been obsessed with the idea of having bats whizzing across the stage at the uh, legalised murder concerts. Originally he wanted to use live bats, but what with their ultrasonic hearing, the decibel levels would probably blow the little faces off them. So in the end we had to come up with an idea of the batapult. Um, basically it's a catapult for bats and it sends small bats whizzing across the stage. 
uh, it captures the lifelike movement of the bats and Vic was very happy with the uh, result. Wait, hey, stand, stand back mate, this will take your fucking head off, right? This is the batter pull and you've got to stay well clear because it's dangerous this. Um, you want a demonstration? Here you go. This one will be better. I didn't put it in the right place then. After taking some time out from the band to take in the Carnarth Coracle Centre and the Crondale Button Experience, I went to join the boys at their long-awaited concert in Nettleton Memorial Hall. I didn't know what to expect. Leg. But you got a beer. You got a beer because you're a fucking manager, aren't you? What the fuck's brunch? If you're not down here within the next... I ain't got a watch, but if you're not down here in like, I don't know, 20 minutes, that's it, you can fucking stick it up your ass, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I love crepes. We're just pumped for the gig. Yeah? We're pumped for the gig. Yeah, it's gonna be a big good, turnout, yeah. it's gonna be a big turnout. Big turnout? It's gonna be a fucking big turnout. I don't see many outside. Huh? I don't see many outside. Yeah, yeah, well, they're fashionably late.
playing the guitar very fast. Jack is looking at Vic. Ernie's got a bat on the batter pole. And the roadies are standing there. He's going to fire one now. Look at this. Oh, black metal or something. The bat hit Vic. Come on, get it. black metal. And there's a pig's head. Vic's going crazy. He just walked off stage. Come on, you guys. He's left the he's left the room. After the chaotic end to the gig, I was anxious to see if Vic was okay after receiving a bat to the eye from Ernie's oversized group scoop. Well, there you are. Where'd you go? What? Did you not see? <laughs> well, you got the bat in the eye. Yeah, I've got a fucking bat in my eye. Did you not see? Yeah, yeah. One of these pricks put a bat in my eye. I'm fucking taking no fucking shit. Who the fuck put a bat in my eye? Was it hey, you? Down, no, 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 yeah, I'm sound. But just because just you're on one eye, cunt, does that mean everyone... Well, my time on planet Earth had come to an end. Intergalactic war had broken out on my home planet of Vobos 9, and I was needed to assist my father, Emperor Vobart, in defending our planet from the space-crazy Grashmacht battlecruisers and their dreaded Cryptoshite depth charge. I'd enjoyed learning about black metal, and Earthlings in general, but with the future of my civilization at risk, I took flight into the mystic cosmos. satanic black rock music, your planet is dying. Deforestation is robbing the world of precious oxygen, the very gas you need to conduct respiration. Aerosols and exhaust fumes are burning a hole in the ozone layer, causing global warming and the melting of the polar ice caps. You must act now to save your planet and ensure the future of your species. I know that if you put your differences aside and pull together, your human spirit can overcome all obstacles.
that's a God is love there, but love divine. Don't you, don't yeah. you like that tune, though? Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a nice melody.